Hello my dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos and today my dear friends we will talk about the cylinder starting valve air valve uh, so in the previous video in the last moment I have a call I had a call from uh, the NEDA company really really a uh, nice uh, person from the crew department uh, really really nice we have a constructive communication and I explain for the moment uh, that I am seeking as chief engineer a uh, position so hopefully uh, we had that communication really really nice when the uh, crew office uh, calling you and ask you uh, if uh, you have some plans for uh, the embarkation so I explain my uh, situation for the moment and he wished me also best luck thank you again for calling and my dear friends let's start today with this cylinder starting valve air valve also for our Russian looking uh, friends Добро пожаловать на канал, и сегодня будет очень-очень интересная процедура по разбору этого вальва. Объясню все подробно, но, конечно же, на английском. So, my dear friends, let's start and let's also see the demo procedure. Any... I have made also... A lot of times this kind of overhauling I like to tell my dear friends that uh, I have seen some starting air valves on the stands and also the exhaust valves always try as much as possible if you have time on board to test them also the injectors and when we come to injectors because I see it's located here on the right I will share with you some tips and some points that you will need to do uh, for checking and this is really really important because I don't like uh, you to go in one situation and you won't have any kind of spares and these spares also will be damaged I will share this information with you it will be really really nice stay here so the first step here that we have is removing the ceiling rings and this kind of ceiling ring as I remember they are really really strong and double so there is a lot of bolts here on the top of the cover will be removed also and here also on the top I have seen a lot of rust through the time so very very nice cleaning of all the surfaces now we have removed the lock and the bolts now we remove the anti losing gasket very nice name and also the piston here it's really really necessary all the parts to be as much as possible smooth and now we remove also the stem in the last vessel which was five years old I really really uh, was thinking how possible the stem do not going outside in any any case so that thing shows that the maintenance was really really poor and this is not acceptable such situations really this is something easy the starting air valves it's very very easy for uh, maintenance and there is a lot of spares that you have on board also and you can prepare it all and everything to be ready for use uh, my opinion is that if you have spare parts and if you have a lot of spare parts as much as possible make them ready for use and not just only to be there like a museum as we have seen in the most of the cases and most of engineers because they know that they are not properly made and the things they say okay I will not put this kind of cylinder head on the top of the engine because I don't know what they have done before and this is the same logic when somebody is thinking about something uh, that they created in their mind and they are working in such way <laughs> they are playing something but 
they are exactly the same they're making the same so that's why they are not using the spells they are not even open them and that's their parts remain for a long time there and nobody knows in what condition so a engineer which cares come on board and find a lot of things to do a, a lot of load will be accumulated and that's why a proper managing management and managing system it's really really uh, effective and how to achieve these things the only things that uh, we can do is the proper audits and audits from the office and these people which make the audits must know exactly the job they must be the inside guy who knows that kind of jobs so there's one thing that say in russia and everybody who is looking uh, this video here uh, i will tell it in russian it says no it says that you can trust but you must check how uh, everything be done so let's remove our bolts here on the top of the cover i will get this spanner and these bolts i like to tell you that it's better to remove them equally from each side and another side so the anti-losing gasket will be removed and let's see a good way to use uh, i will use in my case the screwdriver let's see but maybe uh, the hand here also <laughs> here we use the tool of the hand okay i use one hammer and one uh, screwdriver to remove them so i remove also these bolts here always my dear friends remember as you can see as we remove the bolts here we had a lift of the top piston so whatever you are removing and there is a spring loaded system always be careful so it will not uh, overpressed or will be explode on your face or on your part body always try as much as possible turn the piece or working piece that you are operating in the other direction which will in case that something will happen it will not affect your uh, safety so here we will remove the top cover the top piston this kind of piston also have some kind of grooves some small grooves uh, this is probably made to remove the friction between the main body of the starting air valve and the piston itself so it will not be stuck but as i have seen because the air it's here and if the air is not uh, let's say properly uh, drained from the moisture and if our air dryer is not working properly uh, we will have some kind of accumulation of uh, rust this is the most common that we have seen so this is our particles here we have removed all of them what else we have to remove there is probably a bush here inside yes this is also a replaceable bush and this is a place where carbon accumulated because here from these ports from the down ports here uh, there can be entry of the exhaust gases and so they will be accumulated here and build it all around so that's why your spindle will be difficult for remove and now we can place the body uh, on the wooden surface really i prefer to put all the parts in the wooden surfaces because the wooden surface provide as much as possible a good protection to the metal parts and will not be seizured or heated or heated somewhere uh, of the points so let's go for the assembly procedure 
So after we examine all our parts and we replace as much as possible. So also if you like to compare a new part, you can take the new spindle, a, a new bush, you can compare them and see what differences have. Uh, you can determine any scratches if you find there. And this is really, really important when you have a new item and an old item so you can compare and see what exactly happened uh, and how that affects your spare parts. It's also very nice when you are monitoring and you know also how the operating hours affect your components. This is also a very, very nice procedure to see. So as I can see, uh, our program is not responding here and I will stop and I will make another record of the assembly procedure. So my dear friends, uh, I will see you. Oh, okay, it yet? Ah, okay, okay, we will continue that one. So uh, finally our computer because now I rendering also some kind of graphics uh, in the computer parallel. That's why I had such uh, not responding from the program. So I have overloaded a little bit uh, the computer. So we will set inside our bush. Next of that, let's see where is our bush. Let's turn the camera. So in the position. Next, I will put the spring inside. The spring also, these kind of springs, okay, they have a lot of uh, life on them because they are very, very rare used. This is one of the main factors the springs which be can be affected the springs it's such springs of the exhaust valve or the inlet valve of diesel generator the spring of the one moment the spring also of the fuel pump can be affected and what kind of springs i have found broken was in the MCC engine where is installed the shock absorbers I have found this kind of springs to be damaged. Really the maintenance procedure is so much important because in that case okay you'll be able to determine anything that can affect your engine. So let's place Okay. Whoop. So now we will bend again by hand because we are Superman. Now we will put our cover. You can use some kind of oil also around if you will storage this uh, air starting valve so it will preserve your uh, spare parts as much as possible in better condition and there will not any kind of uh, rust formation through the storage the the storage process is also a very very important thing and also there is a lot of books that telling about how properly uh, storage any kind of equipment for prolonged time for middle uh, and short term 
times and it's really really important to check them also manos really really helps dear friends uh, and also they uh, create something new uh, they create uh, new information for you and always uh, this information must be refreshed and refreshed because uh, we can forget and that is real and the books uh, they are located in the engine room they are located also in the chief engineer's room and that's why everybody must have a access to them and to storage them properly so my dear friends uh, the next video will be for the fuel injectors and i will share uh, some kind of interesting tips Thank you, my dear friends, that you have stayed tuned here to Adventure Story Channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget also to get your thumbs on the top. So more and more people will be rich this information and these guidances from Adventure Story. From me, see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.